Hi there, you're listening to Hobo Sode number 220. I'm your host, Brad, and today is January 13th, 2020. This Hobo Sode is brought to you by Rhett B. Thank you, Rhett B, for being a supporter. As most of you know, every 10th Hobo Sode I put out there for the public for free to entice them to sign up for the show. So unfortunately, that means on today's Hobo Sode, I have to put some effort into it to make it a good show. So that means I can't just fuck around on today's show like I normally do. I have to actually put some effort into this, so I guess I'll try to do my best on that. And if you like what you hear, if you're not a paid supporter, please consider becoming a paid supporter. You can do that by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phonelosers.com slash support. I'm going to call somebody who I called on the last Snowplow show, so I've already pranked this person. I'm breaking the rules, but I want to call Hector back. And Hector is somebody who left an advertisement on Alexander's car, and Alexander took a picture of the advertisement and sent it to me. And I tried to call him back on the show the other day, but he wouldn't pick up after I talked to him, because he probably figured it was me. So hopefully he's forgotten about me by now, he's forgotten my voice, and Hector will be willing to pick up for me. Hello? Hello, Hector? Yes, Hector. Hello, Hector. This is uh, Stephen from AT and T Wireless. Uh huh. I'm, I'm calling to let you know we're going to be changing your telephone number here in a few minutes. Uh, the, this, what do you mean? Well, the, this phone number here, the seven number and the eight number, we're going to change both of those to new phone numbers. Well, I, 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 I you, you cannot do that at all. Oh yes, uh, we, we've I've already made the change. It should go into effect within the next hour. Uh, somebody else. Well, but who 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 told you you can do that before you you let me know about it? Oh, somebody outbid you on your phone number. They paid us a bunch when? of money. Uh, just today. They they called in and well, they. But, but that was not me. Yeah, I well, cannot change my number because this is a business numbers. Well, it's it's somebody else uh, who owns a different business. Well, well, wanted, like I say, you cannot do that. Well, they wanted your because, phone because, like I say, I never, I never called to change anything. I've been having these numbers for, uh, for like about fifteen years, maybe more. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that here on your account. Um, we're we're gonna change it to two different phone numbers. Completely you, you cannot do that, sir. You cannot do that. Well, somebody else. Wanted, I never call you to make any change. Somebody else wanted. Do your, you understand that? I'm a business person. Yes. Yeah, somebody else wanted your phone. Your phone numbers, though. What and, do you uh, mean, somebody else? Uh, they they outbid you. You know, they paid us a bunch of money to have your number, and we're we're going to give your number to somebody else to a different company. Who who done that? I, I'm going to need all that information because. I have to help my lawyer shoot that, that person. Sh- shoot the person? Yes. No, lawyers yes, don't because sh- the, Yes, because either, either, either AT&T or that other person can't do that with me at all. Oh, because no. Because I own those numbers for so many years. Well, he paid us a bunch of money to do this. So that, that's why well, we did it. Well, it doesn't, sir, it doesn't matter. You should be calling me before you go through and all of that. So I'm going to need supervisor well, uh, for AT&T to call me. Well, he, 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 like he gave us a bunch of money is the thing. And sir, he, he really wanted your, sir, your two phone numbers. Why, why he want my two numbers? Why? why? I don't do no business with nobody. I guess this he, is my own business for so many years. Oh, well, he's, are you in the landscaping business? Cause this guy was in the landscaping business. Yes, I'm the landscaper. Oh, okay. Yeah, he bid. He outbid you on your phone numbers, and it was like a lot of money. So, we we figured you probably didn't have that much money, so we just gave it to him. Well, uh, what is a lot of money? Yes. What is a lot of money? Oh, uh, fourteen thousand dollars per phone number. Per number. Yes. Yeah, he outbid you. And, and why? Why AT and T allowed to do that? Oh, because it was so much That's money. That's a robber. It's, it's, it's a robber. It's, it's a robber is what it is. A robber? No, no. He, he just he gave us all this money, so we, so we gave him your phone number. What do you, what it, do you mean? And why, you guys can, why you guys do that? Uh, well, no, we'll do this for any business. If they offer us enough money, we'll just, we'll just give their number away to uh, somebody else. This is like you, a, you, can, you cannot do that because I might have to shoot you guys and I have to shoot this other person. Nope. So it's why I need that information because, I, I, like I say, this is 
and fifteen. I mean, no one can do that without talk to me. Okay, you I know it's to... a lot of money, but but I don't know why you guys do that. I don't really understand when I've been doing business with you for so many years. Okay, well, I don't think this is allowed to do. Oh no, it it is. It's I'm gonna compl- need. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need your information, and I'm gonna need this other person information. Okay, well, it's it's Ro- his, his I, name. I have to do something because hey. it's impossible. His name is uh, Roy, Royco Tree Service. I don't know anyone, and I don't do no business with no ones at all. You asked I mean, you asked for it, his it, name. His name is Royco Tree Service. Roy. Royco Tree Service. Cost. Yeah, Royco Tree Service. Co. Royco. Three. Yeah, it's it's R A Y. Okay, let me let me have. Okay, let me have. I got. Okay, I got these numbers, and I'm gonna need his other information, address, and everything. Oh no, just Please. just just call your old number, and that's his number. You can just call his number and ask for it. I'm gonna need in other numbers because uh, this person should be have other numbers. Yeah. Well, no, he he has his phone number. Okay, do you want his phone number? Yes, please. All right, his phone number is six mm-hmm. eight. This is the number you're calling me right now. Oh no, no, I called you on your new number. He owns that number now. Okay, and what's, what's your his name? Number? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. I'm with AT and T Customer Service. It's Steve. Yes. Yep. So, uh, do you want your new phone number? I have your new phone number here. Well, the number where you're calling me right now, you're saying you're saying it, they're not my numbers anymore. Yes. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't call those numbers. I called your new number. You have a brand new phone number. Brand new. New and improved, you might say. H- Hector, hello? Which is okay, which is which is the um the location where you at? I am in the AT and T call center in Chicago, Illinois. <sighs> okay, in here I'm gonna need one uh, one office so I can go and uh, and I talk to them. Oh, I no. have to recoup. I, I gotta get my numbers back. Oh no, you can't no have your numbers what. back. You you got outbid on them. They outbid you. But you think is this is all right with the AT and T doing that with me? Yeah, it, it's just uh, it's just how we do business. You know, if they they offer us enough money, we're like, yep, here you go. It's it's no big deal. It's just a phone number. You, oh, he hung up. I wanted to let him know it was a joke, you know, to to make him not stressed out about the whole thing. I, I I'm gonna try him one, back one more time, but the other day when I called him, he wouldn't he wouldn't pick up the second time around. He kept saying he's gonna shoot me. He can't threaten to shoot me. He's gonna have his lawyer shoot me. That's not cool. It's Hector with us. Oh, see, he's not picking up again. Let's try one more time. I guess I could just leave him a message and let him know he's been pranked. It's Hector with services. Please leave your name and your phone number, and I will be calling you back as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hey, Hector. It's it's Steve. I just called you, and I said I was with with AT and T. But I'm not really with AT and T. I'm I'm the guy whose car you dinged. You dinged my window. I was just kidding with you. I I've I was I was just playing a joke. I was just joshing. I was just giving you a hard time. I was just taking the piss out of you. You know, it was just a joke. I was just joking, Hector. So yeah, your number's not changing. Don't worry. I know you're probably on the phone with AT and T right now, but it was a joke. In fact. <laughs> hey, Lamo! You just got full on butt slammed by the Skippy and Dippy Morning Show. It was a it was a morning show prank. We pranked you. It was a prank, a prank phone call. That's all. So don't worry, Hector. It's fine. You're, you've still got your number. I won't really outbid you. All right, bye, bye, Hector.
Love you. There, that fixes everything. And I probably shouldn't have left the Skippy and Dippy thing on his voicemail. Because now he's going to look that up and find the prank call to him. And he's going to have his lawyer shoot me. That's going to suck. Okay, next, we've got uh, an apartment complex from Michael K. Michael K. says, this apartment complex is a dump. They have shitty reviews all over the web. I have a friend that lives in this place, and there are cars with broken windows parked there. A suburban on the east side of the parking lot with a missing wheel. Oh, my God. The humanity. This place is very hobo-y looking and needs some major changes. Why don't you go over there and clean it up then, Michael K., instead of complaining, get over there and get to work. There's an apartment complex across the road for seniors where my aunt lives. And seniors across the road have to see trash in their parking lot and are getting really pissed off with the noise and the trash from this place. But come on, you know seniors, they like to complain about everything. They're going to complain no matter what. Their ads on Facebook are also very shitty. One of the ads has a rusted refrigerator in the picture, probably with the child trapped inside, right? You should call them and tell them you're going to call Channel 10, whatever the fuck Channel 10 is. Help you. Oh, hi. I'm a tenant here. Okay. And I have a question. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you pay for the water? Does the apartment pay for the water? Is, is the water heated? Uh, so, K-12? Um, our one-bedroom K-12? apartments are 523. I didn't ask that. I'm going to explain you. That's what I'm telling you, the price. Okay. So me. we put uh, the the rent together and need us pay for the water. So we have, whatever is your amount is already paying the water. So the water is paid for by the apartment. Yes, we don't. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to put a bill on your name for okay. water. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Hey. Um. There's gonna be a water truck come over in a little bit, like a large truck. He's gonna pull up, and I'm gonna be filling it up with water. It's going to be a a large truck here, and he's going to fill up his truck with water using water from my apartment because it's free. Uh, And he's paying me $150 for this. Okay, well, I will need to transfer you to my money here to see if she has Okay, that sounds great. Thanks. All right. Um, Can I just have your apartment number? Oh, sure. It's 10... Uh, 10W. Okay. This is Alice. Hi there. Uh, Hi. I'm a tenant, and um, I just wanted to let you know that a, a truck's coming over in a little bit uh, to, to get a bunch of water out of what my... What truck? Uh, uh, one of those water trucks. You know, one of those big trucks that has a big water tank on the back? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm selling them water from my apartment. You can't do that. Oh, it's too late. I've already called him. Well, already- no, if you do that, that's going to be a cost for eviction. You can't do that. That's our water. We pay for that water. We just charge you a flat amount. Yeah, but um, I've already arranged this with him, and he's coming over. He should be here around, uh, I don't know, about an hour, I guess. Okay, you can't do that, so you have to call it off. You can't sell the water. Oh, well, I won't do it after today. But I, I've, sorry? He's already paid me for this. Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm, my roommate's sawing the floor. How many gallons do you sell them? Um, I don't know. How many gallons are those trucks? I, I think it's like uh, 3,000 gallons. No, no. You're going to call yes, it, it off is. right now. Oh, no. He's he's going to be here. He's going okay. well, to have a large hose that goes from the truck into the apartment. We're going to fill it up from the bathtub. Okay. That's not going to happen. What I'm telling you is you cannot do that. Well, it's my so water. It's not going to happen. It's my water. No, I can do what I want. It's not your water. We pay for the water. We just charge you a flat rate. We charge a flat rate to everybody. So it's technically our water. So but, it's our water bill. But there's no limit to how much water I can use, right? You can't sell it. Well, it's not really selling. It's more like I'm going to give it to him. And he's giving no, me... No, you can't. He's, okay, you he's can't making do a that. donation to me. No, you can't do that. Why not? They, no, you're just making up rules. I'm not making up any rules. If you want to go over the list, you could go ahead and go over the list. Okay. Well, you can't do that. Well, it's happening. He's coming in about an hour. Okay. Well, we're going to turn off the water to make sure this doesn't happen. You're not allowed to do that. You're if gonna, you give up any water, we're going to give you 1430 and get you out of here. You're going to turn off my water or the whole apartment's water? We're going to make sure that this doesn't happen. So I'll make sure that nobody goes in that apartment and gets water out. You can't sell water. 
Okay, well, maybe it'll happen tomorrow. Maybe it'll happen over the weekend when nobody is here. Okay, then I'll make sure I get you out of here before that happens. Well, no, you Have can't, because I didn't do anything. Did she say she's going to shut off the water for the whole complex? She can't do that. I've seen Pacific Heights. That's against the law. Thank you for Hey, um, I, I had another question for that manager lady. Could you put her back on again? Okay, great. I wasn't actually calling about the water. That doesn't matter. That's going to happen, but whatever. Um, okay, I already talked to the owner saying it's not happening. So whenever the truck comes in, we're going to trespass them. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Just don't even worry about that part. Um, we're doing some work in the apartment today. We're knocking down some walls. and we've convert- You can't do that. Well, no, we did it. It's cool. It's fine. I, I, I know it's not fine. No, we're, we're doing it right now. We're working on it right now. We're converting... On W10, you putting down the walls? Well, not taking down the walls. We're converting the walls into trampolines. What? We're converting the walls into trampolines. Okay, what unit do you live on? Um, well, that doesn't matter. I, I just, like, nobody's complaining about the noise, are they? Because we're doing a lot okay, of... Okay, I'm coming over uh, to your apartment, okay? Cause For you what? you can't do that. No, we can't. I know what I'm doing. I know how to use power tools. And I've got a whole team here with me. It doesn't matter if you know how to use it. You're not supposed to modify our apartment complex. We're not modifying it. We're just changing the floors and the walls and the ceiling. You cannot into... change the floor or the walls. No, it's, it, we're changing it into a trampoline. So you can't change that to anything. Well, it's we... not your apartment complex. You don't owe it. You cannot change anything. You can do anything you want if you put your mind to it and you have some imagination. No, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, I'll make sure you stop. No, ma'am, I'm not asking you to try and get me to stop. I had a question. Okay, I'll be stopping by in a second. You can ask me a question once I get there, okay? We're not letting you in. We, we're busy. Okay, well, I'll make sure you stop, okay? No, do you, please don't make sure we stop. Yeah, yeah, if you're doing stuff you're not supposed to, the cops are going to make you stop. No, there's nothing in our contract that says we can't change the walls and floor. Yes, and it is. If you, if you read where it says the rules and regulations, Whoops. it tells you you're not even allowed to change the lock in your apartment. What makes you think you're allowed to break and change floors and stuff like that? We're just changing it to trampolines. That's not the same. Okay. You can't but do ma'am, that. Ma'am. 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 Are you listening? I'm listening. Okay. Look. We're, we're just trying okay, to... Do, so I just, know you live on W10. Just, I'll be stopping by to make sure you're not selling water to anybody. We're just trying to do something different. We're just trying you to... You can't do anything different because you don't own these apartments. I already told you this many times. So we're going to put sure it back. Right now. We're going to no. put it back. When, no, when, you can't do that. When we move out, we'll put it back how it was. No, and it'll be the same boring, old, stupid apartment building. Okay. Then you should buy your own okay, house and modify it as you want to. But wh- you can't wh- do that here. What do you guys care? You, like, the, this place looks like garbage. There's, like, shit all over out, then outside. Then you should move like, out. If you don't like it how it looks, move out. No, I don't leave. have a problem. You're the one that has a problem. You're trying to tell me I can't. Well, that's, that's their attitude, I guess, about the trash outside. If you don't like it, move out. You hear that, Michael K? You tell your stupid aunt if she doesn't like the way it looks over there, she can move out or just stay inside where it's nice and clean and there's no rusty refrigerators or broken windows and convert her walls into trampolines. And that was an idea from uh, Raiden Digital. He sent me that a while back. Said I'm converting the walls and floors and everything into trampolines. So you just bounce around the house constantly. I'll have to do that one again someday. But uh, yeah, thanks again, Michael K for that number. For that prank request next request is from bob vance vance refrigeration he says hello brad this is bob vance i recently left a job to move cities and go back to school my old workplace had some good and bad qualities i wasn't exactly a perfect employee but i tried and was met with mixed results but whatever it's all water under the bridge at this point and you should call my old boss and see what he has to say about me feel free to broadcast any and all of this information i give zero fucks I'm not going to say the name of your workplace, but it's a catering company and he was a delivery driver and his supervisor is Jesus. And here's the phone number. Here's the work dates. Feel free to say whatever. Okay. I'm going to make you regret this, Bob. The catering, this is Ariana. Hi. Is Jesus there in the catering department? Uh, Let me check for you. May I ask who's calling? Uh, This is Mr. McKittrick from ProtoVision. 
Okay. Um, give me one second, okay? All right. Thanks. Are on standby to create meals to be remembered. You can visit us online as well as upgrading existing. Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Is this Jesus? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, this is uh, Mr. McKittrick. I'm from Protovision in Sunnyvale, California. Uh huh. I-, I was calling to do a uh, reference check on an ex employee of yours, uh, Robert uh-huh. Vance. Robert. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, Robert, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, it says he worked there from October 2018 to December 2019. Correct. And he was the co-owner there. Or, or wait, no, it says he owned the catering company, but he decided he needed a change and signed over the entire business to you for a dollar? No. I'm sorry? He was an employee here. Yeah, well, he said he worked as an employee, but he actually owned the company. What's the last name? Robert what? Uh, Vance. V-A-N-C-E. Mm-hmm. You got the wrong guy then, because I never worked with anybody with that last name. What? That it, it, You don't know Robert? Uh, Robert? He, he worked there from 2018, 2019? Well, I had a Robert here before, but it, it's not that you got the wrong guy. A bit, it's, Plus, he was an employee. He wasn't an owner in any. Well, sort was of it way. a different? Was it a different last name? It's not Van. Yeah, yeah, it was a different last name. Completely different. He guy. said he had a different last name before, but he changed it when he changed jobs. He says he changes his last name with his jobs. So I think it's the same. Robert. Yeah, I just I just find it weird that he's saying that he was a co-owner because. Um, that's what's confusing me because he's just an employee and this is a catering company. And he was a driver. Well, are you, are you being like this about it? Because he says you and him were involved in an intimate relationship. No, I think you got the... What is this for, anyway? Oh, it's just a job reference check. He's trying to get a job here at Protovision, here in Sunnyvale. Okay. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know. Maybe you got the wrong... Jesus? What, what is Jesus? What's the last name? Uh, your last name or his last name? No, what's supposed to be my last name? If you oh, he just, me. he just put Jesus in here. In the catering department, okay. he said it. He said it's for your business, though, for <laughs> catering in San Jose. Mm-hmm. He he's, he was yeah. a catering delivery driver, right? Robert was. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we got the right one. Um, okay. Yeah, it's it's the same guy. So he did work there. Maybe he yeah. fi- maybe he just fibbed a little bit on his application here. Yeah. But you you and him were involved in an intimate relationship together. Yeah, we worked together. We were, he was if it's all right, Robert. He was here, excellent employee. Uh, he just decided to move on. Yeah, he needed to get something else going in his life, and we were, you know, he was great. Okay, but when I say intimate relationship, I mean you and him were kind of an, an item. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, because I, I just I didn't know if that would affect his work performance. You know, like no, 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 no. You and you and him being in a intimate relationship Not together. We were just. I mean, I don't know what he means by intimate, but I I think I got confused. Intimate for me is like we were like, you know, kissing, acquainted. Well, we just got along well with each other. Okay, so so but you did you didn't you didn't let the you didn't let your personal lives, you know, where you you two were dating, you didn't let that spill into the workplace. I guess. I don't I don't date men because I like women, so I don't oh, I wouldn't sir. know how to answer. You know? There's no reason to be a homophobe. It's 2020. We're we're all. I'm not being a. Ho- what? Who is this again? Uh, my name is Mister. You're getting kind of weird. Mr. I'm not being. Why would I be homophobic? Well, you're saying you don't like men. Um, I don't like men. Question and number that's three. Not homophobic. Just saying that I'm a straight person. Now you're now you're accusing me of something. You don't even know me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can just move on. Um, does does Robert look good I naked? I think I'm done with this conversation. No, What's your name? My name Who is do you work for? my name is Mr. McKittrick. I work for Protovision. McKittrick Protovision. Yes. Does he look good naked? I'm done does with Robert this Does Robert look good naked? Oh, now you're being a douchebag. You no. know what? I have a good one, man. No, I I need to know this. It's you don't know what kind of job this is. Oh no, Bob! I can't hire you. You lied to me about owning the company, and apparently you don't look good naked. I'm sorry, this just isn't going to work out. And I thought your real last name was Vance. 
You forgot to tell me what your real last name is. I thought it was Vance. Damn it. But thank you for that. That was a lot of fun. If any of the listeners out there, if you have an old job that you'd like me to call up and ask some wacky questions about your previous employment, feel free to send that to me by going to snowplowshow.com and clicking on the prank request thing. I think I'm done with this hobo. So thank you everybody for listening. And thank you, Rep B, for being the sponsor of today's show. I started recording this one on Monday. I meant to have it out on Monday, but a bunch of stuff came up. I didn't get it done. So I'm releasing this one on Tuesday. So it started on Monday. It's ending on Tuesday. But that's a good thing because Jesus wasn't even there yesterday. It was too late in the day by the time I called and he was gone. So we got to do a reference check. Woohoo! If you like the hobo sods, please consider supporting the show so you can get nine extra hobo sods between every free hobo sod. It's a pretty good deal. Just five bucks a month gets you an extra show every week. You can sign up at patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash support. That's going to do it for today. Bye, everybody. Here's some bone cage. Good night. I love you, little.